What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I am going to be doing a daily update on SafeMoon token. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Vivul valued up to $1850, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account, deposit $100 and choose your free stocks. That's it. And let's continue with their definition and the most concise definition you can find at the bottom of their homepage. And it says, uh, the SafeMoon protocol is a community-driven fair launch DeFi token. Three simple functions occur during each trade. Reflection, LP acquisition and burn. And also as usual, let's continue with their official Twitter page. And for now they have 435.2 thousand followers. They added about 10,000 followers since I made my previous video, since yesterday basically. And let's cover their latest tweets. 14 hours ago they tweeted this. If a coin has a large number of users, then we will list it. And uh, it is a quotation of uh, Chapan Zhao, the CEO of Binance. And uh, SafeMoon asked, is 1.4 million holders enough? And basically you can see funny uh, gif right here that uh, SafeMoon holders some kind of attacking Binance. And uh, here is uh, add-ons, just SafeMoon tweeted, show them who we are. Basically, I think we might see a listing of SafeMoon on the Binance exchange, but it won't be very soon. It is just my opinion. Next tweet that uh, SafeMoon is landing in Middle East, coming soon. And here is another tweet, it is a retweet of Burnsy, Burnsy official. SafeMoon soon will be on Burnsy Exchange, the biggest crypto trading platform in Middle East. Also very good sign and uh, it might be a catalyst, also a catalyst for the price. But yesterday one of my viewers asked me, what, uh, what about uh, Chinese uh, exchange? SafeMoon listed on Chinese exchange, but we cannot see any spike in price. And uh, in my opinion, it is not enough to be listed on a certain exchange. You have to be well promoted in, the, in this area. And only in this case, you will be able to benefit from this listing. Next one, it is just a tweet and it says, Welcome to Jurassic Safe Moon. Rate your holding. Just funny tweet, nothing more. Next one, it is a new wallpaper. Uh, four hours ago they tweeted this, Safe Moon Wallet and uh, three dots. I think uh, we might see their own wallet somewhere in uh, several maybe weeks or months, I don't know. And it is also might be a good sign for this uh, token. And uh, as usual, pin a tweet uh, how to acquire Safe Moon. Basically, that's it. And let's continue with the technical analysis and before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So I made my previous video somewhere at this point and my assumption still is uh, still in play. And uh, I think we have to have uh, this type of uh, formation and our lowest point for now is this one. And uh, our B wave and C wave on a smaller scale should be somewhere here and uh, we might have a C wave to the downside. And let me remind you that until these two pivot holds, this one and this one, we don't have any major pivot points. And uh, this uh, leads us uh, to our targets that I mentioned in my previous video and the video before that video. You can watch uh, any of my previous video and uh, there you can find uh, my, our targets. But for now, let's continue with the microscopic analysis. So, as I mentioned yesterday, we have to have uh, certain waves in different structure. Right here, we have an A wave. We might have it uh, in a three-wave structure or five-wave structure. This means we don't need to uh, make the breakdown of this wave. And right here, we have a B wave. And B wave should be in the form of a simple zigzag. This is our A wave, this is our B wave, and this is our C wave. And it is also should be in a three waves structure. And also, we have internal wave B, has to be in the form of three waves. And we have it, let me show you. This is A wave on a very smaller scale. This is B wave and this is C wave. And on top of that, we have to have five waves strictly in a C wave. And let me show you that in 
from B to C we have exactly 5 waves. This is the first wave, second retracement, third, fourth retracement and fifth. So it doesn't violate any rules of Elliott wave theory. On top of that, guys, let me show you that uh, from this bottom to this top I pull a Fibonacci extension tool and uh, let's do a measurement. And what do we have here? Again, we hit 0.65 and 0.618 level. It is very technical and uh, as you might see, you can apply your analysis on any scale you want. You can uh, do it on a major scale, you can do it on a smaller scale. It doesn't matter. We have a fractal movements. This means we have waves inside the waves inside the waves and so on and so forth. And uh, this means you have to make a breakdown if you want to understand where are we now. And let's continue with this microscopic analysis. I don't need this retracement anymore because we have to make a breakdown on this wave. And let me show you that we have two waves for now. This is our first wave. This is the retracement. Somewhere here might be the third, the top of the third wave, or we might hit even the highest point somewhere here. Then fourth retracement and fifth, in my opinion, we have to have at this top to complete the entire five wave structure in a C wave, internal C wave, in a B wave of this structure. And let me show you one more confluence zone, why I think this resistance uh, might uh, be next potential point for the price action. As I already mentioned, usually the length of the C wave is one to one as the length of the A wave. This means we can measure it and uh, this means we can make some projections. So, to do so, I pull a Fibonacci extension tool from the bottom of this wave, because we have to measure this A wave and project it from this point to measure the C wave. And let me show you this. This is the first point and the projection from the bottom. And what do we have here? We have confluence zone of one to one extension with our previous major resistance. And uh, all this information, it's quite messy on a chart for now, but uh, for those of you who understand my breakdown, all this information shows us that we can make an assumption that we can hit this very point. And from this point, we might have uh, one more leg to the downside. And at this point, at this uh, movement, we have to hold this position. And until this pivot holds, we have absolutely the same targets that I mentioned in my previous video and we are still bullish because uh, until we break this level we don't have any new major pivot points and this means we are still bullish, we are still in consolidation phase and basically I think uh, for now that's it, targets are still in play, we have some roadmap of the possible movement of the price and uh, with that being said please subscribe to my channel hit notification bell and hit the like button this helps me a lot see you guys and girls next time bye